20 year long stint as an administrator, we haven't faced anything like this. We were trained to handle calamities like floods, earthquakes, landslides and all those, you know, natural disasters. But for something of this magnitude, which affected almost all of us, I think we were not trained to handle it. So uh, when COVID unfolded, uh, we knew as an administrator, we had to act immediately. And first it was the health department, the doctors, the nurses, the health workers who were at the front line fighting it. But then we slowly realized that it wouldn't be possible without the entire administration coming together to fight the crisis. So that is when the entire department, the interdepartmental coordination happened. All departments, the revenue, the rural uh, development uh, department, the local bodies, the municipalities, town panchayats, every other department, the social welfare, the ICDS, everybody came together as an entire team to ensure that our people are kept safe from this uh, crisis. Of course, without the entire cooperation of the civil society, we couldn't have, you know, handled this crisis. And that came in a large way. There are so many generous people, there are so many large-hearted people in the society. And uh, it is just that they're waiting for this opportunity, you know. They're just waiting for that chance for them to serve, in spite of the fact that they were facing dangers. And uh, they knew they could also contract COVID. But in spite of that, we had so many volunteers, those who worked, you know, burying bodies, uh, cremating bodies, uh, even at that level, so much of dedication and so much of hard work, that is how we were able to handle the crisis. COVID has been a game changer. It has been a life changer for many of our people, irrespective of the rungs of society, irrespective of the societal structure, irrespective of where their financial dependence is on. It has changed many lives. Now the NGOs, the support of the NGOs at the field level is phenomenal. So wherever the children, wherever families were, uh, you know, affected due to COVID and they went out and they helped those families, they gave them food packets, they helped them with provisions and they took care of their needs. Uh, whenever they had to take them to hospitals, it was then that ambulances, they had free services, free hearse services were operated. So a large to a large extent, we noticed that so much of resilience was there in the community that inbuilt capacity to rise up against all odds. I wouldn't say COVID is over. Our entire machinery is now geared up to handle any kind of crisis that comes up in future as well. Because right now, we are entirely a trained lot, you know, including the community, including the workers, including the administrators, everybody. We are a trained lot and we know whatever comes, we are there to, we can overcome. A big heartfelt thank you because without you, this wouldn't have been possible. I wouldn't have been standing here or rest of the community wouldn't have, you know, lived comfortably through the crisis. So a big thank you. Uh, thank you is not the word. It doesn't express that heartfelt gratitude. I, I really feel for all those people who were there at the front line, not only at the front line, different roles that they have played, you know, supporting those people at the front line too. A very big thank you to all of you.